Hi, I'm Jim Carefoot from Amata Technologies, and I'm here today to give you a technical tip using some of our test equipment I think some of you will find very useful. If you're experienced in doing troubleshooting in two-wire systems, you know how important a milliamp clamp meter like the Armada uh, Pro 93, Pro 95, Pro 95i can be in determining where there are faults in your system. We use it to find shorts and opens, uh, which are very important factors when you're using a system that has its main failure mode is splices. So we're out there um, looking for a way to, to do troubleshooting uh, on a system with a clamp meter and in that case we're doing that, we have to have some current flowing in the, in the cable in order to be able to find the things we're looking for. Uh, normally, you might have a, um, a troubleshooting mode in a controller that's live that you can use. You might have an AC adapter that's providing 24 volts, some kind of a device to put current on the cable that allows you to do the, the clamp meter troubleshooting. Um, if those things aren't available, and that's pretty common, either the controller is not powered or there's no AC outlet available, we have an interesting solution using our Pro 50 irrigation system tester. Um, it wasn't designed originally to do this job, but we realized that when this thing is doing the 24 volt uh, solenoid testing, that it provides the kind of current we need in the cable. So we are, can use the Pro 50 to source current and allow us to use the clamp meter and it doesn't matter whether we have um, any power. All we need are the AA batteries in the Pro 50. So when I want to power the cable, I'm connecting it, just, uh, I've got it disconnected from the controller. I'm connecting my, my irrigation tester, the Pro 50, to the cable. I turn, it, I turn the meter on and now I hit F3 to go to the 24 volt generating mode and I turn on with F1. This is now providing power on the cable and it is doing it with its AA batteries. So now I can go through the system, checking the currents as I go, looking for too much current, too little current, thing, signs that tell me that the splices are bad, they've been disconnected, there's water shorting out the things in the, in the box, and it is a, um, a way also when you first install a system to double check, see what the normal current is that's flowing in the system, and you can um, make a note of it on the inside of the controller door, and you will know what's normal next time you come back. If it's way over or way under that number next time, you know the, 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 the kind of fault you're dealing with. So um, really nifty way of not being blunted in a field when you need to do this kind of testing just because there's no AC outlet available. AA batteries, irrigation controller, tester, and a milliampere clamp meter, and you're in business.